Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, oh, here we are, Coffin Bay. It's a national park now. I don't even know what the camp's called. Nang Yangi? 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 Yangi Camp, National Park. And then we've got Raising of the Suns and Chasing the Rays are going to be there too. We have an exciting and big day planned tomorrow. We have a big day with Experience Coffin Bay and the oysters. How beautiful is this place, by the way? Stunning. That was very, very sweet. So just a heads up here, we didn't book this. These guys did, so we don't really know where we're going and I don't know if they know either. Although I think we might have we might have found the site. So they're big sites where a couple of people can fit in together. Maybe we won't fit in, who knows? Always a fine adjustment to the parking. Hey! <laughs> Here comes chasing the rays. And out they've booked a spot right opposite us. Very cool. Old Chrissy's a bit slow in his old age. That'll be a good drone shot. What with just urban. titanium with urban? <laughs> we might Photoshop it to urban. Urban. <laughs> Urban. No rivalry. All right, I'm gonna hear it all. Get... Alright, all set up at Yangi and look who we're with again. Hello. Look, does this guy look familiar? And this lass over here? <laughs> Alright, where are we going? We're going we're going to some beach. We're gonna go exploring. exploring now. Yeah. So I don't know where we're going. We're just gonna follow them. Yeah, so we've got to hurry up, so bye. So, we're all parked up, we're all set up, we've had lunch and now we're about to follow these guys somewhere. Where are we going? No idea. This is a little bit pretty. Oh, pretty is an understatement. That's just insane. Are you like the paparazzi? Yes. Hey, what do you think of this beach? I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna make a reel. <laughs> really? Really? You know what's not pretty though? Look. Oh. oh. And there we go. Look at this. Grubs, aren't they? Pretty disgusting. And this is what we continue to see around Australia. Grubs like this. Look at this, kill. Mate, two Coke cans sitting over here. Absolute grubs. I'll say it. We'll said it, it before, and I'll say it again. Take it home, like honestly, put it in a bin so we don't have to pick it up and put it in a bin. Lazy, mate. Downright freaking lazy. But anyway, I've had my rant, rant over. Hey? Bye. Okay, so plan B, it's way too windy here. We're gonna go across to the other side. Um, not a drop of wind over there, I don't think. So, what do you think, babe? Are you predicting that there's no wind over the other oh, I'm side? I'm predicting that there's no wind, but we're in SA, so there's gonna be freaking wind here. So, anyway, let's keep going. 
Okay, so if we didn't quite explain, we're actually in Coffin Bay National Park now. We're at a little beach called Avoid Bay. This one's directly on the other side, so we are totally out of the wind now. Except it's really windy and there's sand blowing everywhere. Yeah, but it's windy only over the top, but then when we get down there, as you can see... It should be sheltered at the beach. Yeah, it should be glassy down there. So. <laughs> Tell us what you got, mate. Show us what you got, buddy. Oh, that, that was, was pretty good. Too. Pretty well good. Done. Oh, we're going through the water. Yep. <laughs> we're going around that point. That's fun. I'll follow you, hey? You can follow me. Ow. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not putting my feet on the soft sand, clearly. Look how clear this water is. So we've been to some pretty specky parts on the Air Peninsula, but I think this takes the cake. What do you think? I think this is right up there. It's stunning. Coffin Bay National Park is like, from little that we've seen so far, I think it's the best by far. And we've actually got a really nice day, which makes a big difference, yeah. I think. Yeah. Hello! What are you doing in there, Gus? It's a tunnel. Oh, you found a tunnel? Yep. Oh, sweet! My son, I'm on here too. I feel like these rocks are just going to crumble. They don't feel very strong. No, and my feet are wet and slippery. You alright? Yeah. Come on. There's a mad um, tunnel here. Yeah. And the down. temperature How good is this? You better if I can find my Is this just beautiful or what? Yeah, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. I was trying to get in the water, but my hair tie is somewhere down the bottom of my back. And now inside the air-conditioned cave. Yeah. Yeah. How nice it's sitting here. Super nice. Oh, yeah. Go, There's legit no wind right here. Another day down. We'll go back now. We will cook some dinner, have a couple of frothies, and then we'll get up early for tomorrow morning. Waste of time. Yeah, Waste time. Waste of time. Waste of time. <laughs> Check this out. We just spotted this. That is chain. You can see the links there. Yeah, it's all Wait, just what like. You, what did you say it looks like? Well, it looks like a big turd, really. Doesn't it? <laughs> This is crazy, this place, isn't it? Yeah, and up there. Well, check out all these rock formations here. Zoom in on that. It looks yeah. like it's melting wax almost. Look at that. It looks like, yeah, like it's melting wax. And even a little bit here. Where? Like, just... Hang on, let me have a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's like a little there you mini, go. mini version of what's... Here. This is... Like, even here. Like, look. Where? Oh, yeah, it's all little holes and... Very sharp. Yeah, it's, it's extremely good. sharp. Yeah. Walk on with bare feet. Yeah. Look at that there. Look at that. It almost looks like coral. That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah, it yeah. does. This coastline just delivers, doesn't it? Just it's continues continue. to deliver. It's just wicked. This is probably one of my favourite spots though. Yeah, this and is I like the fact that we went around there and there was no one else there except yeah. us. Yeah. If you look over here, there's a whole bunch of more people here. Yeah, well not really. They've just all launched their boats from here. It looks like the ab divers launch their boats and then head out that way. You can see out there there's a trawler. There's a few tinnies that came back in the Yeah. It's just us and it's been really nice. Yeah, it has been. It's beautiful. All right, let's go have some dinner. Dinner time. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. All right. We have got some exciting adventures planned for today. I told him yesterday. 
You told them yesterday. I've told them several times. I'm excited. We're going on the oyster tour. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm one I'm, step ahead of you, honey. I'm going to be 100% honest with you here. So, <laughs> we got the invitation to do the oyster farm tour, but they said we're so sorry. <laughs> You're not going to be able to eat any oysters. And I was just like, yes! Because I really am not a big fan of oysters. But apparently now that we get to eat oysters, Chris is really excited and I'm a little bit... Uh, they shut them down for a while because I think a couple of them had gastro in there, so um, it's all reopened now, and I'm excited. And this one is not. I'm not. She has I, to eat. I don't want it. I, I don't. Want and trust me, guys, we are going. I'm gonna get it on film that she's gonna taste a nice fresh oyster with a bit of lemon. So stay tuned for this one. Oh. So we had an early night last night. Had a nice. My hair is right there. Oh, oh can you see in there? Anyway, we had an early night last night, up nice and early this morning, and we are doing, ta-da, Experience Coffin Bay. We're doing the oysters, oyster tour. This is going to be great because Miriam absolutely loves oysters, so. I have butterflies in my stomach about this experience because I know, because you're watching, he's no, going to make me eat an oyster. No, yeah, it's going to be an amazing experience, but whether she actually eats an oyster is going to be... Yeah, a whole different ball game. I'm really so. excited to check this place out and all that <laughs> stuff. But uh, anyway, let's just see how it goes. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. So I'll show you the map here. So here we go. What do we got here? Where we are we going? Map and we are here at the boat ramp. Waiting, Where are we? Waiting to be collected by. Oh, hang on. The boat's just moved. <laughs> the boat was over there. Now it's right behind there. Well, there's the boat right there. Yeah. So we're gonna be jumping on there, and I'm assuming we're gonna be doing this. The little loop. Seals, National Park, and the Oyster Park. I'll oh, say, so look at this. Oh, and the bay. We're doing the bay as look. well. There you go. All right, let's go do it, eh? Go, babe. What did they just say there? What did they say? People are purchasing their oysters. Or, oh, I, don't know, I don't know. You can buy oysters and there's a kid in there probably going to eat two dozen. Two dozen? You only two dozen right now. No, I don't even know. <laughs> nah. How many oysters did you order? Three dozen. <laughs> You're going to be full, honey. I get what I'm given. <laughs> You can see that out there. Arms in the air. Having a great time. Okay, welcome aboard, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our Farm and Bay tour. My name is Scott. This is Sandy. Uh, hey, guys, we're going to take you right out into the heart of Coffin Bay. It's going to take us about 25, 30 minutes to get there. It's about 30 clicks out there or so. When we get there, we're going to tie up to our oyster lease. Once we've done that, everyone on board is going to get the opportunity to get some waders on and go for a walk around the lease and take some photos and get to see those baskets up really, really close. Once we're back on board, we'll get everyone seated with a drink. Whoever's ordered oysters today is going to have a dozen oysters naturally shucked by Sandy here. So while she's doing that, I'm going to give you guys a history lesson on Coffin Bay, how we went from oyster fisherman to farmer, which is what we are now, everything in between on how we go about the whole process and what makes Coffin Bay so awesome for growing oysters. Once we've done that, we'll cruise over to the National Park. Hopefully the dolphins got my email and now they're waiting for us. That'd be lovely. If they're not, don't blame me, blame them. They've been unreliable lately. So yeah, we'll stop and have a look and if they're there. From there we'll cruise over to the brothers, check out the seals that are hanging around, take some pictures of them and then make our way back here. It should take us about three hours or so to bowl that over for you today. Yeah. 
water, all the air is going to be squeezed out of the waders. And when you get them back on board, you're going to find them clinging to you really tight. So put in barnacles, they are razor sharp. We've got a saying oyster farming, if you ain't bleeding by the end of the day, you're not putting them hard enough. So just be mindful of those, guys. Like them? Love them. <laughs> yeah, they can't be backwards, babe. You got it? Yeah. So. Looks good. Oh, Looks great. Right, really let's go. go. It feels awesome going into the water with waders on too. <sighs> good. Feels weird. I told you it feels weird. It's like I'm floating. Oh, no, hang on. It's doing the sucky thing. It's like. <laughs> oh, I got. It's like goosebumps. Like um, pins and needles. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Rightio. I'm used to waders, hey, from tailor fishing. I'm definitely not. This is the most bizarre <laughs> thing. How good I've... is that you're actually warm? Do you like yeah, it? Um, yes. Alright, let's go for a walk, hey? Okay, let's go for a wander. About eight years. Slight difference in size. Though. Oh, I think you'd love that one, wouldn't you, babe? How do you? Can I ask how you eat that? Because normally you just go. Oh, Lots of chewing. Lots of chewing. <laughs> <laughs> just feed it in and just keep going. Just keep chewing away until it's gone. So, how many of these would you have here now? Oh, we got about 20 left now. Yeah. Okay. So they were big on our international customers oh. when they were coming before COVID lockdown. Yeah. Right. They wanted to tick that box of eating yeah. the king oyster. So, yeah. Um, okay. yeah uh, but um, we don't sell many. Incredible. But they'll actually live for 25 years and grow to 30 centimetres long. I had no idea they grew that big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. So um, their scientific name is actually Oysterous Gigas. Okay. Gigantic. And they, they taste better yeah. as they get... Oh yeah, sensational. First oyster farm I ever worked at. Uh, there was a young fella there and I just started and I was on the floor sewing up bags and he was just on the inspection belt, sort of just yeah. taking off starfish and dead oysters and whatever. And he come up to me with an oyster that covered my whole hand and it had a cup about that deep, meaning the depth of the shell. And he come up to me and he said, hey Scotty, would you like to eat that? And I went, hell yeah, I want to eat it because I love oysters. So he went and opened it up for me and brought it back. And then 20 minutes later, the boss got back from running errands down the street yeah. and he went up and showed him that shell. And that's when all the swearing and bad language <laughs> oh no! Shed, and that's when I found out I'd just eaten his gold medal hopes for the Royal Sydney Show. <laughs> so did you still have a job after that? Or? I did. I didn't even get into trouble because I didn't kill it. I just ate it. But he wasn't very happy with the other guy. <laughs> He'd had that oyster for seven years. He had looked after it. Individual. It had its own basket. One oyster in one basket. He had just absolutely shaped it to perfection. And in about 30 seconds it was all gone. So you've eaten one of probably the best tastiest oysters yeah. ever. And the flavour is next level. It's just oh. absolutely next level. I'm not so concerned now because I don't know if I told you when I bought it, but I don't like oysters. I've only eaten one about 16, 17 years ago. It was Kilpatrick and I, yeah, you know how that... Uh, well, that'll be, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try one Well, it'll be interesting because we've had people on this tour that say they hate oysters yeah. and they have them fresh out of the sea and they go, wow. Yeah, I've never tried it fresh out of the that's sea. That's not the oysters that I've tasted. Can before. I try this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll open it up for you if you promise to eat it. I would love to see you try eating that. Oh, did you hear that? that? He'd open it up if I promise to eat it. I don't think I You're don't kidding yourself, that. mate. I think I could do that. But it'd be hell funny having a look trying. <laughs> oh, All right. King Oyster, here we go. You wish. Challenge accepted. <laughs> okay, challenge accepted. Rightio, this is going to be gold. And uh, yeah, we had we actually opened up two yesterday for some people. They wanted to try them and they loved it. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. But is it something that you would like open up and then cut in half and go, here you go, have some? Or do you, is it a one person I, thing? I can, yeah, it's a one person thing. It's a one person thing. thing. Yeah. So yeah. You, do you still go, uh, and then just lots of chewing? Or do you... Yeah, just feed it in. Just, just keep you it got no chance. I wouldn't even bother. Just following up from that challenge not accepted. There's no way I'm going to try and eat a king oyster. Woo, the pressure's like... 
brothers and cousins could stick to to ensure their survival. And that was a problem. All of the shell was being ripped out of the bay, it was going to Adelaide, and it wasn't coming back. Oh. They weren't Enjoy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's 12 of them. So what are you doing here? Well, not only do I have 12 of these, I, um, I'm actually, I'm really nervous. I can't even speak. I'm, I'm going to try the king. <laughs> which is what? The king oyster, which is how old is he? Eight years old. Eight years old. Eight years old. Oh! <laughs> He's eight years old. <laughs> You're cruel. I don't know how this is going to go, and I don't know if you're going to want to watch what happens, but I'm going to try. All right, All right let's crack him open. Let's have a look. Come, come and have a look. I'm really nervous. Like, my heart's like doing fluttering. Uh, can you pass me a towel? Because I'll probably end up on my knees again. But you reckon these are delicious, right? They are absolutely delicious. I had one for dinner last night. You had one? Okay. I just killed Patrick. We've got to eat a knife and fork, but it wasn't good. Hang on. That's what, that's what I was wondering, Ken. Nah. Had you eat knife and fork in nah. you? Look at the size of him. She's eating take deep breaths. I literally am. I'm really quite nervous. When you see that, then you will. <clears throat> He's tough. Oh, that was holy mama mia. That's good. That was good, Scotty. Look at that thing. <gasps> there you go. Look at the little of him. <laughs> That big? Oh no, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, didn't I didn't know where that'd be now. I'm not. I'm actually. I'm, I'm excited. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Oh yeah. Let's have a look at the quality of it. That's all about the turning. It's got a beautiful big Ooh, abductor muscle. Oh yes. Now I'll turn him. Oh yeah. Oh ha oh, ha oh, ha. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the adductor muscle there, and that's where a lot of the flavour and the crunch comes from oh, a Pacific beautiful. oyster. So it's crunchy. It's uh, not, not crunchy like a cornflake, but you know. <laughs> so, um, now I'll put that on there. Oh, my knees are Righty-o. Okay. Oh, it does actually. Yeah, I, I'm better than my one did last night. Let's get all that out of the way. So I am noting that there's no knife or fork. Uh, yeah, I can give you a and fork. there's just lemon, so I just literally, I know you swallow them, but do you, I'm gonna have to chew that. Chew that, babe, because it's got all that flavour there. That flavor. But this bit apparently is nice too, right? Yep. So I'll start with that. Start with that. Here's a couple of forks. Okay. You might need them. I really want to. That's really nice. <laughs> okay, there's a bit of crunch. Right, I'm shaking. Okay. <laughs> Just, I, I just listen to the lesson. So you put your, you just kind of get the water out, and then a bit of a squeeze of, of this on here. A bit of lemon would be good. Okay. All right. So I don't even know how to do this. Just pick it up and eat Maybe it. Maybe I just pick it up and eat it. Just pick it up. Stop chewing at it. It's that big. Come on. Come on. <laughs> quick. Quick. Come on, quick! Oh, okay, I, I, it's okay. You ate one for dinner last night and you are all good. I'm gonna be yeah, fine. I can't do it. Okay, I'm not wasting it. That's it. Chew it up quick. That was good. Quick. That's it. There we go. Well done. Next. Next, I've finished this one first. <laughs> I get what you mean by crunch. And it's yeah. nice crunch, isn't it? It's tasty. <laughs> oh, well, it's time not to think about it. Come on, it's delicious. Quick. I just need a bit of it. Just a bit of it. Battery's going to go flat by the time we finish this thing. <laughs> well done. Yummy! Yeah. There yeah. you go! Yeah. There it goes! Yeah. <laughs> nice work, you did man. it! <laughs> ah! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> now you can go on. I'm a celebrity, get me 
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Look at that! I just ate that. That's my first oyster in about 17 years. There you go. Not a bad one to break the ice. The, the first one I had was about that size in Kilpatrick and I just couldn't deal and I said I'd never eat one again. But look at that! Okay. Alright, congrats. Do you want to keep that shell I think, yes, I do. Yeah, you got to keep it. I definitely want it. Oh, thank you. on yours have you made yours fancy have you dressed no. oh lemon i'll put a bit of that on put a bit of a that. tiny tiny drop So what's the tally? How many eat so far? One, two, three, yeah. four. I've eaten four. I've eaten four. It's four. pretty probably ten by the time you include that one. Four of them and this one. So like a hundred. <laughs> I've eaten like a hundred. A hundred. <laughs> yeah. And I'm actually, I'm determined. I'm going to eat all of these. These are a superfood. Right. They are really, really good for Go you. down the hatch then quick before we get oh, motoring. Hang on, I'm trying to put a little bit of squeeze of lemon on there. Watch it, I'm the expert now. Alright, go. Whoa! I know, didn't even fall face. <laughs> Yay! Hang on, what's the, the go with this one? This is a massive shell and it's teeny tiny. Quick, you're nearly done, come on. Flip a little fucker. <laughs> oh, that would do the guy down by. Uh, that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm getting there. All right, said Fred. One, two, one, two, three, four, five to go. I can see that the, the, that little bit there has got a bit of a crunch. Kind of that bit. Show me, hang on. Let me do a close up, let me zoom into it. This bit here is a little bit, not not crunchy like you said, but it's just a little textured. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Yeah, that's going All into right. my belly. To my belly. Ready? Ready? Yep. Ready? Yep, go. Uh, uh, that one didn't make it. Hang on. Come on. Uh, that one didn't make it. Hang on. Oh, Psyched myself out now. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, she drove the big Morton Bay barge to Morton Island in South East Queensland. No, I don't do any donuts. Yeah. This is different to that. He had a thing on his steer. A little joystick. Yeah, yeah a little joystick. Am I just going straight? Am I following that blue line? Uh, for now. Just go wherever you want, honey. <laughs> Go slowly on the wheel, side to side. Do some turns, get the feel of it. Ooh, you want to see some white water out back? What are you doing, babe? 
I'm not just going straight, I'm actually turning the wheel. Show me. Watch, look, look at it all the way that way. And the boat's turning. Oh, wow. And now I'm going to throw everyone over the other side here. Okay, one, two, three, go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can turn it with it. We're going to go back the other way. I don't know what any of this means. Lots. Now we're going to go back this way. He said I can't do donuts though, but I really want to. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hectic doing donuts. Yeah, I can imagine. He speaks from experience. <laughs> Thanks guys. How rad was that little experience? Oh, that was unreal. I can't believe yeah. I did what I did. I'm yeah. very glad I did what I did. Yeah, if you get down to Coffin Bay, you have to go on this little tour. It is absolutely wicked fun. No, he actually spoke a lot about Coffin Bay, the area, yeah. and the oysters itself, and all that sort of stuff. We yeah. didn't film it all because it was it was long, but it was really informative and yeah. something that really helped me eat the oysters. Is yeah. the fact that these are pretty much the best in the world, and there are a whole heap of reasons why. And one is the nutrients that they feed on when they've grown. Yeah. That it comes from Antarctica or something, and it's it's super clean. It's um, don't give them too much information. No, but it's just amazing, and they're really really good oysters. And I don't think you can find any others like no. that anywhere so will i eat them again probably not but the fact that i got to taste these coffin bay oysters is absolutely amazing do Super it exciting. do it experience coffin bay